Hello, and welcome to Fall Protection Training, The Basics. We plan to teach you what some people call the ABCDs of fall protection. We call them the double ACBRs of fall protection. Sound confusing? Well, if you pay attention, it won't be. So let's stay alert and get moving. Mmm, my bad. Mmm. Just tripped over the first slide. Okay, let's go. The first component to any serious fall protection system is the anchorage point. What in the heck is an anchorage point? An anchorage point is a place of structural integrity that can support 5,000 pounds of arresting force in the direction of a possible fall. Anchorage points are everywhere, and the odds are pretty good that if you found a solid anchorage point that supports 5,000 pounds, somebody has already made an anchor for it. What are some common examples of anchorage points? Well, trusses, metal roofs, steel beams, and cured concrete are all examples of great anchorage points, provided they meet the 5,000 pound marker. But before we move on, let's look at some garbage that won't work as an anchorage point. For example, trees, or truck bumpers, or morbidly obese friends. Remember, an anchorage point must be able to support 5,000 pounds of arresting force. Tying a rope around a Dish Network satellite may be convenient, but it's about as useful as bungee jumping with a cord of dental floss. Unless, of course, you're MacGyver, and in that case, your anchorage point could be bubblegum. Moving on. Once you've determined a suitable anchorage point, you'll actually need an anchor for it. An anchor attaches securely to an anchorage point and provides a safe tie-off site. The anchor is the first piece of equipment you need to start a personal fall protection system or to keep your water vessel in one spot. <laughs> anchors are as varied as anchorage points, but there are certainly commonly used anchors available depending on your industry. For example, if you work in residential roofing, you might look for the French Creek removable anchor. If you work in commercial roofing, you might be interested in the Guardian CB12 anchor. However, if you're a steel erector, you may want to check out the Guardian Beamer 2000. And if you do a lot of concrete construction, a product like the Miller Grip would be great for you. Whatever your situation may be, take the time to find the proper anchor for your anchorage point. Your anchor is installed, now what? Well, you want to look at a connector. A connector connects you to your anchor, which is attached to an anchorage point. A connector can easily be understood by thinking of a leash. It's kind of what it is. The leash, I'm making quote marks with my fingers now, connects you to the anchor. Got it? Good. Now these leashes come in two varieties, which gives us a perfect opportunity to discuss the difference between fall arrest and fall restraint. In fall arrest, your connector has enough length for a fall to actually occur your fall needs to be arrested. While working in fall restraint, the length of your connector prevents you from even reaching the edge of your working area. So what are your options when it comes to connectors? Well, you can always use basic lanyards, which in most cases feature shock absorbers that allow them to be used in fall arrest. Lanyards can be made from polyester webbing, steel cable, or rope. They can come with single or dual leg options for 100% tie off and a choice between snap hooks or rebar hooks. Another connector option is the retractable or self-retracting lifeline. A retractable works very much like a seat belt. You pull it out slowly, it works fine. Pull it out fast and you're gonna look like an idiot. These things have lifelines made of polyester webbing, which can be used for concrete construction, uh, galvanized steel for welding applications, or stainless steel for being a badass. Now that we've covered the connector, let's connect it to you. I really hope you weren't thinking of tying the connector around your waist. It's been done, and it's been disastrous. You'd be much better off with a body harness. A body harness provides the connection point to the worker and limits the extent of injury during a fall. It's basically a big jock strap to attach your leash to. Now, how comfortable you want to be in your harness is up to you. Just keep in mind that comfort, bells and whistles, and awesomeness will cost extra. In the comfort department, you get what you pay for. Penny pinchers may get pinched in awkward places. 
Now, if you're wondering about the types of harnesses available, there are several popular styles out there. Your basic styles are called universal harnesses, and just because they're basic doesn't mean that they're all low-end harnesses. There are some pretty cool universal harnesses on the market. Guardian Edge series, anyone? Another option is the construction harness, which usually features a waist buckle, tool belt options, and side D-rings for positioning. Vest harnesses combine safety vests with safety harnesses. They're easy to put on and can kill two birds with one stone. Let's face it, a pairing like this hasn't been seen since Captain found to kneel. There are also specialty harnesses available, like welding harnesses or flotation harnesses for weak swimmers. Once you've got your body harness on, you're ready to fall. Well, not exactly. You'll also want some sort of retrieval system unless you don't mind hanging around and probably dying. The last and most frequently overlooked component of any fall protection system is the retrieval system. It's great that you've got protection in case you fall, but what happens after a fall? How are you going to be rescued? That's where a retrieval system comes into play. A retrieval system is used to rescue workers when a fall occurs. Without going into great detail, there are two basic options, some sort of rescue ladder or a tripod system. Rescue ladders allow a worker to save themselves by climbing up a provided ladder that is either attached to a connector or thrown down by fellow workers. Serves them right. They fell, they should rescue themselves. If the poor sap is unconscious, lazy, or frightened like a little girl, you'll want to look into a tripod system. Tripod systems are usually available with winches, so there won't be any heavy lifting. Editors note this is my kind of rescue, I don't like to overexert myself. With the addition of a rescue system in place, you've really got a complete fall protection system going. I dare say we've covered the basics. Sure, there are variations to this basic formula, but these are the basics. If you understand these concepts, you've got a pretty good knowledge of fall protection. So let's review, shall we? Hey, you, sleeping in the back. Wake the hell up. We're going over something important here. It all starts with an anchorage point that can support 5,000 pounds of arresting force. Your anchor connects to the anchorage point. The connector attaches to the anchor. Your body harness attaches to the connector. And your retrieval system rescues you if you fall. Simple. That's it. Hopefully you've learned a little from this basic training in fall protection. All of the products you saw in this video are available at fallprotectionpros.com. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call or contact one of our pros today. We can help you get the equipment you need. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, don't forget protection. <laughs>